think all things considered, the kids, Valachunas and Ross, really gave you something against the very They better. really did. They did. They came in and played with a lot of confidence, a lot of energy. Uh, I thought um, uh, Valanchunas came in and played with all the confidence in the world against one of the best centers in, in the league in Roy Hibbert. I mean, and uh, then T. Ross also against one of the better defenders in Paul George. So offensively, they did a good job. Um, but everybody that came in and contributed. I thought Chuck Hayes came in and, and held for it in the post defensively. Uh, Nando came in and did an excellent job offensively. He got the tempo where we needed it. We got a little sluggish there at the beginning, but he came in and changed the tempo and what we wanted to have. And another night tonight, DeMar didn't shoot the ball particularly well, but I think he had eight or nine, nine assists. Nine assists. I mean, that's huge. I mean, he, he find something else to help us win. Make winning plays, and that's what he did. Uh, and you're going to have nights like that, just like baseball hitters. You're going you're gonna to go for a hitting slump every once in a while. But he came in, did a great job of, of uh, finding people, setting people up. They were blitzing him. They were really committing to to him. And they have to give you something, and he found it. Pacers are obviously looking for themselves a bet. How meaningful is it for you guys to beat that team in a close? Year? I don't even quite. I mean, we're looking for themselves, whatever it is, it's a win. I mean, I, I don't even. I, you can't get into the psyche. It's a W in this league. And, uh, you know, uh, whatever the deal is, they've won 53 games, is what I look at, and as a quality win. But like I told our players, <laughs> if we come out tomorrow night, like, tonight is the same, tomorrow night is the same as tonight. But again, tonight is a quality team. 53 wins, find them, whatever the situation is, I don't know. All I do is look over and I see three All-Stars. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys competed. I'm not taking anything away from Terrence Ross and Valentino's effort and their output. After nine rebounds last game, Terrence had five tonight all in the second half. Really big, a lot of couple offensive. Who's that now? Terrence. Uh -huh. uh, just his work on the boards. He did. He rebounded. And again, finding other things to do to help you win other than shooting the ball. And he did that. I thought his defense was in and out. But again, he's going against one of the best scorers in the league. But you know, T. Ross brought the effort. He got into him. Uh, but most of all, when the shot went up, it was a five-man job. And he came back in and rebounded. I mean, considering you did it without Amir and Kyle, what does this do for everybody else's self-belief? It should help their confidence. To go against a team like Indiana, who I think one or two in the Eastern Conference, without our two starters, helps us. But again, it's not worth a darn if we come out uh, tomorrow night and don't have the same focus and energy and effort. Again, um, you know, we're happy, we're excited about the win, don't want to poo-poo on it. But again, we got to turn it up and crank it up again tomorrow night. Just being able to play and it's Huge. It, it, we finding out what we have. Uh, he's a quality. And I've, I've been arguing with the coaching staff the whole time that this kid has played in meaningful games. He started for the top, the best record team in the league. He's played international basketball. Uh, he knows how to play, and uh, just because he was a backup in San Antonio, you can't you can't put anything <coughs> on that. But he's coming in, and I think this is a, a, the effect. He knows that he's going to get extended minutes uh, with Kyle out, um, and when you're in that situation, you play a little freer and and you know a little looser, and be he was, he's himself, and he's done an excellent job. And I love the way he's pushing the ball, and I think he's doing a a better job for us at the point than at the two. Get the sense that Chuck Chuck has a calming effect when you put him in a game. <laughs> I wouldn't say he was calm when he's in front of the bench, <laughs> in front of the bench tonight. But he is. He's a vet. He knows how to play. And John's the same way. You know, you look at those guys. They've seen everything. They've played in big big games and playoff games, um, and uh, they know how to play. And that's that's the good thing that they bring to the team. Is their confidence, their common effect, and the two the other team knows that they know how to play. And uh, Hibbert was trying to post him up. They was trying to go up Chuck in the post. And he scored on him, but it wasn't easy. Kyle seemed almost like another coach talking <clears> to you guys <throat> on the bench tonight. Uh, speak to what he I'd rather see Kyle in uniform. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather have him in uniform than in street clothes and coaching. You know, he's got a lot. And I told, I've told Kyle this all the time, that when he becomes a coach, I cannot wait to come watch his teams play. <laughs> I tell you, I'll be that heckler in the stands, you know. <laughs> Boo, coach. John. Solomon's basically no points, but he seemed to have a huge impact on, on this game. How's, how's, how's he well, like, like Doug said, the calming effect he has on, on the team. He's a veteran, 11 years in the league. He's seen almost everything. Um, <clears throat> he knows defensively how to play angles. He's seen situations before. He's not surprised by situations defensively. So uh, he's just a veteran player. And Terrence, especially his last few games, He's not just getting rebounds. Mm -hmm. He was in the air as the shot went up. 
he went and got and he did the same at the offensive end. And that's, that's great because he's an athletic wing and he's using his athleticism other than something in scoring, which is something he should do. And he's doing an excellent job of rebounding and using his athletic God-given ability to rebound. And, uh, and I'm really happy for him because he, didn't, he could just take off and go, but he comes back and crashes the board and still gets out and fills the lane. So uh, it's something to be said to be young.